mean, that was, that was a trailer and a half. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're in. We're both there going, we're all in. right, we're in. <laughs> I like You it. can go now, Sam. <laughs> that's it, that's it. My job Take here is done. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome along, Sam. Good to have you with us. Thank Daisy you. Jones and the Six, tell us about it. Well, it's, it's the story of a fictional band in the 1970s Los Angeles. Um, the book, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a, a book adaptation, uh-huh. another book adaptation. Um, but it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it follows the, the rise and fall of um, a very big band in the 70s. Yeah, their Fleetwood relationships, Mac-esque kind of. Very Fleetwood Mac-esque. I think, I think the book was loosely inspired by Fleetwood Mac. Um, so yeah, that will give you a little taste of uh, what's to come. Well, the singing's fantastic. Yeah. How much of that singing is you, Sam? Uh, s- strangely, <laughs> all of it. Um, really? Yeah, no, it, it was a good voice. Well, th- 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 we had great producers and uh, a great, you know, team of people, I suppose, to get me there. But um, yeah, I had a long way to come for sure. Well, uh, I don't think so. So when you auditioned, did you have a good voice when you started? Well, I, I'd, I'd done, I'd done musical theatre growing up. Uh, I, I think my first ever job, uh, like acting role, was Priest Four in uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, and I, I, I things of, about that Priest Four. Role. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was the best performance you've ever seen. A Priest Four. Um, Forget but, Priest Three. <laughs> <laughs> I had the best lines. <laughs> Good Caiaphas, they're right outside our yard. I remember it. Yeah. He knows it's, it's still in there. But I don't think I could sing. I think I was just saying the, li- I was just saying the yeah. lyrics, speaking the lyrics. And it just lyrics. goes, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, so I did a lot of musical theatre. Uh, so in the sense of like having some musical training, but the first time I'd ever been in a recording studio was my audition. And it was the first time I'd ever been, you know, had to make love with a microphone. And um, I think at my audition, they asked me to prepare a 1970s rock song. I, I prepared... Elton John's Your Song, oh. which is the most unrock and roll <laughs> song like you've ever song. heard. Lovely song. But a very good song, but um, wasn't quite what they were looking for. They came in and said, do you know this song? That Come together. I was like, yes. Right. Michael Jackson, right? <laughs> but it's the Beatles. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, God, we have a long way to go. <laughs> so that, that was like the beginning. That was the beginning of it. But, um, but yeah. also, you were the last one to be seen of the audition process. Isn't that right? Yeah, so they had to settle. You know, I think they were like, he'll do. <laughs> we, 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 we're, t- we're tired of this. <laughs> We've let you from tomorrow. <laughs> we, we have to. This has to end. <laughs> Cast somewhere. Uh, yeah. So, but I think, I think they, they were sort of looking for musicians, I think, you know, trying to find the right balance. Uh, I think that with me, they were like, OK, we can, we can, we can work with that. There's something Mold there. this guy. We can basically so make So could you play else. guitar at all? No. Oh, uh, no. That, that was the biggest challenge. It was so sure. real. Yeah. Guitar, yeah, I had to look. Well, thankfully, um, for me, thankfully, lockdowns happened and the whole production was shut down for a year and a half. And I was then able to kind of, yeah, learn, learn guitar. Uh, so, so yeah, again. Did you start filming this? You, like, so we'd start, well, we'd, I got the role, I think, the January just before COVID. Um, wow. and, and like was in LA and we had like five weeks before we started filming. So I had to like do all of this in five weeks initially. And thankfully I then, you know, had the extended year and a half. Um, and we started the June, yeah, after, after the COVID. So it actually pandemic. benefited you right. from COVID. By the time he came back, yeah. they, they were like, it was a lot better. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <That's> really good. <laughs> but I was able to take my time with it, you know? So in between being a dad and, um, you yeah. know, working out, I, I, you know, doing my home workouts. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was able to, like, at least put my, my, my sort of focus on something, you know, which is, yeah. A lot of the songs, all the songs original or? Yeah, yeah, all, all, all original. Um, Blake Mills, um, had, in fact, they had amazing people kind of coming in to collaborate. We had Marcus Mumford yeah, great. write a song. Uh, his song, actually, Look At Us Now, has just, just come out, so download it now. Um, but, yeah, he, so he was there, and he was actually recording his solo album in the studio next, next to it whilst I was recording and butchering um, <laughs> <laughs> his song that he'd written, you know? And so he came in and started listening. I was like, please, this is, like, the most embarrassing <laughs> thing. But I got enough to be singing it but ha- you hear. Having the opportunity to observe, you know, a great um, sort of writing music and sort of, you know, seeing it all for real, you know, dream come true, really. Yeah, but... Yeah. I've just watched, um, you know, I've just watched Alvis, because I don't know if you know, I'm actually hosting the BAFTAs on Sunday. So I watched <laughs> Alvis this week, and you actually got to work with Alvis's granddaughter. Yeah, I mean, right did you me. ever actually speak to her about it? No, I, 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 tried, I tried not to. I think it's that thing, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want to put... The orcs. Put, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to sort of... First day of you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, But there was a moment we were sat in a cafe uh, shooting a scene, and they had, like, music playing, and there was, like, all of a sudden one of his songs came on, and there was that moment I sort of looked at it, was like, 
That's your, that's your granddad. Like, yeah. My granddad's a children's entertainer. <laughs> You know, he, he was a clown for kids' parties. He was a paramedic, you know. But your dad, that, that's your grand, that's your grand. <laughs> crazy, <laughs> crazy. In terms of like I the roles you, like yeah. you've auditioned for, I didn't know this, but you auditioned for Lemmy. Was it Lemmy's you auditioned Lemmy, for? Yeah, yeah. So, so, that, 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 so and Eddie Redmayne went in just before you. So Ed, Eddie and I go way back. My first ever job was with Eddie, and, and he properly, you know, took me under his wing, and you know, uh, was amazing. Um, and, and sort of, yeah, my Les Misérables auditions. Um, well, there was like a few leading up to the, the, the big one with all the producers, all the director and everything. And I was sat in the waiting room uh, and there was a tiny crack in the, like in, the, in, the, in the window where I could see through and watched him, watched him do his thing. And he was watched, good. And then listened to them give him the part. <laughs> and then watched him walk out. I was like, now I've got to follow that. But like, there's no, I mean, there's no following that. I mean, he obviously got the part um, and did it wonderfully and way better than I ever could. But um, That's yeah. how I felt when Alison auditioned for this. So I was just <laughs> <laughs> what about you were for Cats as well? Is that well, that was my other mu musical theatre. Um, terribly, ter I mean, yeah, it was. It was a uh, wasn't just an acting or singing audition. There was a there was a whole dance sequence to that that particular audition. I mean, it's one of those horror stories that people tell you about. There's auditions <laughs> where they try to teach me ballet, you know, in, in, in a matter of seconds. Uh, <laughs> and let me let me tell you, I, I never forget. I call my agent afterwards. Like, I don't think I'm going to be a cat. <laughs> He's like, yeah, but Sam, you always put yourself down. I'm like, no, no, this time I'm pretty no. sure this is it's just not. <laughs> normally it's I say not it, but, in fact, but this is not, this is not going to be, not for me. Sam, when you get the parts that are uh, uh, for book adaptations, do you deep dive? Do you go into the book? Do you like to read the book, or do you, you, do you feel quite fresh about the whole thing? And... I'll be honest, my bookshelf at home um, consists only of the books that I've adapted <laughs> into TV and film. I, and I, Peppa Pig. And, and Toto, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I spend my life reading children's books, um, not for fun, uh, for my kids. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, 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 don't have I don't have time. Yeah. I find myself very busy and I never grew up reading. Um, and I'm fortunate enough to, you know, be blessed with this job that <laughs> makes makes me read uh, scripts or need, you know, the need to research certain times or you cultures. You read for your or... job. Yeah. That's all you need. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Did you like being in the 70s? I, I, I have to say, I, I, I really grew to love the double denim look. Yeah. Uh, the long hair, which again, thank thank God for COVID in the sense that it meant that I had a year and a half to grow my hair. So that's all my own my own my own I curls. I love it. Um, what would you bring back from the 70s though? The flare, flares, man. Yeah. yeah. The flare, they make, didn't they make a comeback for a little while? I feel yeah. like in the 90s. I think they, they, that's just still they're around. Still around. Like, what would you bring back? 70s? I you remember, around. do you remember a raspberry miffy? Which was like a, it's like Ooh. a, it's like a, it was like ice, vanilla ice cream, but with a raspberry lolly around the outside of it. But, I don't remember that. Oh. I must be too young. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't too young for it, Alison. It just didn't make itself to I was to very little. It was very little. I'll bring back, um, you remember choppers? The bikes. Choppers. Yeah. Oh, they're that's still that's around, aren't they? I feel like no, Sons of Anarchy. So. Oh, I'm glad you, glad you put that into context. <laughs> <laughs> Never gone away, Alison. <laughs> uh, so, thank you so much. So Sam, good to have you with us. So family. lovely to meet Daisy you. Daisy Jones to the Six, you. available on Prime Video from Friday the 3rd of March. And have a great BAFTA weekend. I'm sure you'll be there. I will be there. We'll be there. I'll be, there. I'll, I'll be, I'll be watching, watching on the TV. Oh, I want you to yeah. come now. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to meet you, Sam. Thank Still you very to much. Counter